Hey, guess what we're doing today? We're going for a quick dig. We're gonna take a walk down an old 1800s rail bed. This is new. I'm gonna bring the metal detector and go to a spot that I've been thinking about for years. Where they were digging for resources. Anything can happen, anything can be found, so stay tuned. So in this segment of the video, I'm going to a spot on the old rail bed that I haven't hiked in, it's gotta be eight or nine years. Last time I was down here, when I was into exploring, but before digging, I remember seeing a little chunk of wall off the rail bed that intrigued me. I haven't been there since, so it'll be interesting to go back today and take a look. This part of town where the old railroad went through really didn't have much for home sites. It was just a chunk of land that really wasn't too habitable. So that plays a part into my curiosity. It might not be anything more than just modern day stacked stones, but like I said, it's been eight or nine years and I really gotta know. Here's a whole bunch of the ties that were pulled up when they made this, you know, into a public place for, you know, activities. Some 1800s wood right there. You can pretty much see on either side. It's just low-lying wetlands. The nearest farm from back in the old days is way, way up there. Then again, as you've seen us find, there's always that occasional slip of land where somebody settled away from everyone else. Well, I think we're getting close, because if I recall, this is where the ground starts to change. I've actually been thinking about this for a long time. And there it is up in there. No doubt that is old wall. Uh, 25 feet of random wall. A little bit of access. Makes me wonder if it was for the railroad company for whatever reason. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it. In more recent years, I've hiked a lot of the sections of the old tracks. And you see this dig out back here? This is from the era of when they put the rail beds in. Because we find these for miles, you know, that at least we've hiked going up the tracks where they would dig out materials for the rail bed. So, is this some type of loading area where, you know, a cart would come in here? I'm almost positive that's what that is. There's no other farms or anything for a, a long way. Well, I'm gonna scan. Let's just see if there's anything in the ground here. Wouldn't that be something to find? Chunk of iron. It's a memorial penny. 86. There's the first one. Dime flavor. Another memorial. Well, I'm up two cents. That is a solid 36. So we're dealing with a solid iron target, probably. Oh, nice. Bingo. Beautiful railroad spike. I think we got another one here. I can tell you, I, I, when I used to walk this section of track or any others, uh, before I was metal detecting, I was still out exploring and looking for dumps, bottle digging, whatever. And I never once came across any railroad spikes anywhere. You know, like piles of them from when they pulled up the tracks. But 
to dig it out of the ground is far more exciting anyways. Here we go, number two. Awesome. It's in pretty good shape for 150 years old. Squeaky. Oh, what is that? Is that a lighter? Where did you see this thing? It's got to be old. That was six inches deep, too. I only said lighter just because of these small ports here. It is a lighter. There's the screw down point that would push the flint all the way up to there. Hmm. Still no text, but either way, what a cool find. So I just did a quick look online and I saw a few pictures of a lighter, very similar to that, maybe the same, not sure. It had a lid on top of where the striker, the flint was, and those were produced around 1900. Wow, so that thing's over 100 years old. These tracks were in use still at that point, so. Let's swing some more. Low but high tone. You know, this could have very well been used as a stop uh, after the building of the tracks. I've been told by a local guy who well, he's all about trains. He wrote a book on this line and conductors and engineers and personnel of the train would have their special stop spots, whether it was for dumping or whatever else. Believe me, I've hiked these tracks looking for those dumps. That's another spike. Cool. And that tone was higher because it was deeper. I've popped down to the tracks for a second because through the years I've gotten those messages. Do you ever metal detect on the old railroad beds? The answer is no. It's like a cellar hole that goes on for a hundred miles. I've tried it before. It's just bad. So I'm just going to take a little walk. This has been so long. It's pretty much as I remember it. No other rocks stacked around except for that stretch. Hilly, lumpy, and wet. Let's see up in here is another prime example of where they were digging for resources. You know, it's not natural and it's very old. This happened a long time ago. Like I said, you see this stuff all the way down the line. I just walked about a mile. This is new. It ain't a town line marker. Hmm. I have no idea. It wasn't there a long time ago, though. Interesting. All right, now to turn back and keep my eyes peeled some more. Well, there's a sliver of rail that didn't get picked up. Sounds ridiculous, but man, would I like to take that home. <laughs> now see, it's these small details that I look for and catch my eye as I'm walking along. There's another sliver of the past. I thought that piece of wood did not look normal. Look, there's barbed wire going through it. So somebody had animals in there a long time ago. It's like you gotta pay attention real closely because I haven't seen another old post or stretch of barbed wire for a long time. Just more discarded ties. Well, that's it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed 
this quick little video, this quick little dig. Sometimes the shorter ones, for me, are just more enjoyable. I'm not out killing myself. I actually just spent more time walking and taking things in than I did digging. But those few finds made the day complete. So until next time, enjoy your not Thursday.